Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's get straight to this transformation video. Now I've already put on some moisturizer and primer, so we're ready to go. All right, so first for foundation, I'm going to take my Born This Way foundation in the color Snow, and using my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Now for concealer, I'm taking my NYX Dark Circle Concealer and I'm just going to put this in all my problem areas which is around my nose and under my eyes. And then to set everything in place, I'm going to take this Manic Panic Virgin Pressed White Powder and I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put this all over my face and of course not forgetting my neck. I want to be really, really pale for this look. And now that the face is done, we can move on to the next part, which is going to be really fun, but super tricky, which is of course the eyes. So I'm going to use my unicorn brushes from Unicorn Lashes to do this. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to put on this white base powder from Medusa's Makeup. And this is going to be a really good base for our darker shadows. Now for my crease in the outer corner of my eyes, I'm going to take this small angle brush and I'll be using two shadows by Concrete Minerals and they're called Soul Journer and Ether. And basically what I'm going to do is draw a cat eye shape with them and just fill them in. Oh, as usual, I stuffed up, but that's okay because what I'm going to do is take that fluffier brush from before and I'm just going to blend the shadows out so that they don't look as messy. There's really no right or wrong way of doing this in my personal opinion because what we really just want is that smoky kind of outer eye look with a bright center and inner corner eye. Okay, now I did go a little bit too dark into the center of my eye, so I'm just taking that white base shadow from before and taking my finger and I'm just going to dab it on just to make it a little bit brighter. Um, you can use glitter if you'd like. When I did my photo shoot, I used glitter, but right now I think I'll just use this white powder. All right, on to mascara. I'm taking my Extra Super Lash by Rimmel London and I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes 
really, really thickly. I will be putting falsies on, but I do love to have a lot of mascara on my eyes. Okay, so for me this isn't always necessary as I do get my eyebrows tinted and shaped and I only did them the other day, but I am going to use my Brow Drama in Dark Brown by Maybelline. This has a really cool like setting gel in it and it just shapes my brows and puts all those out of place hairs in their right place. Uh, time for the scariest part which is falsies I ended up cheating and I went to use my big mirror to put these on as I really struggle using a handheld mirror as you can see they're now on and they look great for my lips I'm using this very soft nudie pink color from the Mac Cinderella collection and this is just a really nice creamy lipstick that just ties in the whole look and makes it look super pretty and pastel And last but not least, I'm going to attempt some highlight. So I'm just going to take this fan brush from my Unicorn Brushes collection and I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And there's a really nice shimmery pink color in here um, that I believe is meant to be used as a highlight. Uh, this color right here. So I'm just going to apply that onto my cheeks and my nose. Now that the makeup is done, it's time to put on my pastel goth outfit and transform. Ta-da! And this is my final look. I hope you guys like it. So my hat is a witch's hat and it's actually from the Killstar company. I um, absolutely love it. I bought it on Berserk. My pink fluffy wig was just a purchase from eBay. My necklace was actually custom made for me by Tracy Hines. And you can find her on Etsy still under the name Sirens Grotto. And of course my beautiful pentagram dress is from Berserk and I just love it. It's so form fitting, it's really comfy and it's really flattering. Thank you so much for watching this guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.